Can we get real? I want to talk to the moms and dads who like their holistic and alternative medicines, and that's great. I do the same thing. If I am able to treat my child's fever with cool compresses, cold socks with wool socks on top, or the paste, I've done it. And it's great. I do it for my kids when their fevers are low, they're not feeling super miserable, great. But I do want to let you know that it is okay to treat your children with medicine if they absolutely need it. So if their fevers are spiking quickly, there's a risk of febrile seizures. You don't want to bring your baby to the hospital because they had a seizure, especially because one, they have a seizure now, and that's always worrisome. And two, they have, they're given the medicines in the hospital anyway. So to prevent that, it's okay to give them the medicine. Remember, you're only giving them the medicine for a couple of days. It's not like they're going to be on these medicines for three years impacting their liver. If you give them a safe dose for just a couple of days, it's totally okay. And I just want to let you know from a mom to another mom or another dad that it is okay to treat your child's fever with medicine when it's necessary. So for me, when it's necessary is when the fever starts spiking, I can see it going up and up and up and up and up despite my efforts on the alternative side. Or if they are just flat out miserable, if they're not eating and drinking, there's a risk of dehydration because they're sweating from the fever. They aren't drinking anything because they just feel yucky. If that's the case or they're miserable, they're not functioning, you can just hear them moaning on the couch or the bed, it is okay to give them medicine for a couple of days. And that's where the pain and fever dosing guide for infants and children really comes into play. Because if you're a parent who's a little more medicine hesitant, that's fine. But you can actually choose, instead of giving the exact dose that the over-the-counter bottle said, if they're 24 pounds, they get five milliliters, that's the dose. Well, you can actually pull up the acetaminophen or ibuprofen, whichever product you're using, chart. This is the acetaminophen, and if they are 24 pounds, it says I can give anywhere from 3.5 milliliters up to 5.1 milliliters. That means the over-the-counter dose would have been the highest dose they can get. But as a mom, maybe I don't want to give them 5 milliliters. I want to give them the lower dose, see if I can get the fever down a little bit um, better with the other alternatives as well as the medicine. So I can choose 3.5 and actually give them a low dose. The nice thing about this booklet is for every single weight, it gives you the low dose and the high dose. And knowing that as long as you stay within that range, you're in the therapeutic dose. So I highly encourage you to keep this. Even if you're holistic, you're an alternative medicine mama or dad, keep this in your cabinet just in case because this will come in handy just in case your child's fever does spike or gets really high, or they are just super miserable. And I just want to encourage you, it's okay. It is okay to give medicine to your children when they absolutely need it, and sometimes they just do. So get this dosing guide. It will be a lifesaver for you when the time comes.